What are the chances of Biden and Trump being the nominees? I think the chance of Trump is very high. I think the chance of Biden is entirely dependent on whether or not they can do something to turn his health around because it, it seems like his mental health is deteriorating so rapidly and so publicly that it's a narrative now and it's an inescapable narrative I mean, he just said they cured cancer the other day did you see that yeah i mean i didn't see i mean it, but... he just says things and he doesn't know what he's saying he clearly is compromised mentally well, there's the, something wrong there is something about <clears throat> the age of everyone so yes. you probably saw the mitch mcconnell thing amazing diane feinstein you know he just uh, rebooted in front know? of everybody <laughs> do, and, do, do. you know like the uh, chuck grassley there yeah. is and i tried to write about this <clears throat> but it's it's also like our perception of it because Part of you is like, okay, Mick Jagger is 80. He's killing it. He's probably, you know, he's probably got two more wives in him. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you got you got Harrison Ford yeah. did uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I saw the movie. I brought it with my kids. It's an action movie. He's a, still an action star, age of 80. Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, kicking yeah. ass. They're in their 80s. Yeah. And then... You sit there and you look at, you know, Nancy Pelosi was 84. Yeah. You know, uh, Diane Feinstein. You know, it's like. Well, Feinstein's compromised. Well, they, they actually hid that she's compromised. It's like well, all this. Yeah. And then also like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you know, yeah. should have left. Yeah. Right. Earlier. Yeah. But like. Could have left during the Obama administration and they would have gotten uh, a liberal judge. Yeah. But he, here's Feinstein the, gets confused in Senate ap appropriations hearings and has to be prodded to vote. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. It's not fair. It's not fair to the constituents. It's not fair to her. But when I was a, when I was a kid, I didn't. Uh, you know, the understanding. Uh, you know, I'm in my fifties. I know I look like I'm sixty. You look no. great. Oh, thanks. No, but like when I was growing up, people turned sixty-five. They retired, and they either went to Florida or Arizona, and they retired, or or they you know got a different kind of job, and but like they kind of disappeared. Then they went to the blue plates. Uh, they they dyed their hair blue, and then they started sending their kids two bucks in a birthday card. I didn't even know eighty year olds existed. I mean, now there's so many eighty year olds. Like, there used to be, like, people that were 65 that moved to Florida, and then there was, like, Willard Scott would announce one or two hundred-year-olds. Right, right. But there was no 80-year-olds. There was not a—I mean, the 80-year-olds are everywhere. They're ta I think <laughs> I think the 80-year-olds are multiplying. Well, but, there's better medicine and health now. You know, people are way better at nutrition at taking care of themselves. They have good doctors and they're getting the right supplements and, you know, they can live longer. People are going to live a lot longer. I, I think within our lifetime, we're going to see people that live to be 150 years old. Yeah. I think that's a fact. I mean, when we were kids, Reagan was president. Yeah. He was probably 72 or something like that. And people were like, he's, you know. Yeah. You know, it's like he's, now he, he would be a spring chicken. Now, yeah, are you kidding? He would be like lifting weights with J RFK. Jr. Yeah, that's three years older than RFK. Jr. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Look at him at sixty nine. That's nuts. It's amazing. Yeah, when you see guys like uh, well, well, Biden is a particularly bad example because he's also had two brain surgeries. He had you know like a serious brain surgery where they literally remove the top of your skull and deal with aneurysms like he's got real problems and they know it but they also know that he's the president of the united states and they can't address that or they'll lose power and they also know that he's stated that he wants to run again whether they can talk him out of that or whether he decides not to do that or whether some the health complications get more severe like you don't get better when you get 80 and you're in the most insane high pressure I don't job. know. Did you see the movie Cocoon? I mean, they. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing the, you know, I think that there, you know, the, the, the Biden thing is, uh, you know, I'm probably on the other side of this, but like I view Biden as like, you know, he, his foot and mouth disease has disappeared. So in other words, he used to say stuff like even when he was with Obama, 
Yeah. There would be like, we got to get Obama, Biden out of here. Right. And I don't think he does that. And some of it is- What do you mean you don't think he does it? He does it all the time. Well, I mean, you know, but but now they're calling him senior moments. But like before he used to be like, uh, he would say things and people were like, ixnay on the talking Biden. Well, when you're a liar and an idiot as a young you, man- uh, you, So you're pro-Biden. I'm joking. Yeah. Well, he's clearly a liar. I mean, there's there's videos he, of he, him he, lying he, when he was younger about his, his education oh, yeah. record. And, and you know, the, he, he lifted the coal miner speech from the guy. And, yeah. Well, yeah. we used to do Joe Biden night at Stitches in Boston in the 80s. Because when he was running for president in 1988, he got caught plagiarizing. Yeah, a whole speech. So when, not just one, I think it was more than one. Oh, really? And, then, and also I think there was some other evidence of plagiarism in his past. So we used to do a night. At stitches, oh, wow. where like you would do my act, I would do your act. We would do, every, we would go up and do our friends' acts. Oh wow! Yeah, it was Joe Biden night. No way! Yeah, and this is in 1988. But I don't know. Maybe this. All right, this is what I think. I think that if Trump, I think that, I think that if Trump goes away, I think Biden's going to go. See ya. You guys take over. That's what I naively. Well, think. Well, Trump's not going to go away. I mean, they would have to put him in jail, and it doesn't seem like they're able to do that. The 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 what are the charges now? What are the, like the most egregious, most difficult to defend charges? Because uh, there's the uh, the top secret document stuff, but the problem with that is Biden has multiple instances of these top secret yeah, documents. Dan, yeah, you know, yeah, had him in uh, his fucking Corvette in his garage, like. There's a couple cases according to the political website. Criminal cases. Definitive guide to the key players and legal risks in the four criminal probes of Donald Trump. So for 234 years the nation's history, no American president, former president was indicted. That changed in March of 2023. <clears throat> Charged with 34 felony counts in connection with hush money payments to a porn star. See, that one's a weird one. Because <clears throat> it's like, that's not a big deal. Well, that's, that's you know... Hush money payments? I mean, like, I don't know if our wives would agree. <laughs> no, definitely it's it's not like morally. No, but it is. But yeah, that's like, you know, in the era of JFK, that would be like, how dare you bring that up? Yeah. So um, 37 felony counts for mishandling classified documents and impending investigations. Now, what I've heard about this is the, these counts are inflated. So there, there's a, a bunch of counts, but they multiply those accounts based on the amount of documents and things. So it becomes... All these different counts. Uh, I'm talking on my ass here. I no, don't exactly I know. Know what but I'm some saying, of but it is like, but that's. And so two other ongoing criminal probes, both related to 2020 election interference. Those are serious. 